Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be, um, well I'm going to be doing an unboxing um, of a luxury item. So full disclosure, I bought a lovely piece and I want to share it with you guys. So if you'd like to see it, just stay tuned. So a few weeks ago, while visiting my daughter, I um, took a day trip over to Atlanta to Lenox Square, and I paid a visit to the Fendi Boutique. Uh, due to COVID restrictions, um, I had to wait in line because only so many people can be in the store. That Louis Vuitton line was, oh my God, so long. But I waited in line for about 15 or 20 minutes and then I was able to go in. I looked at all of the beautiful bags they had. I even tried some. The sales associate was so very sweet and she brought out additional bags for me to look at to help me make my decision. I finally decided on the bag that I wanted. Um, I am in love with it. And so that's what this video will be about. I'll tell you all about the bag that I purchased. So as you saw when I was uh, visiting my daughter uh, last week in Alabama, we took a little day trip over to Atlanta. Uh, it was about two hours from where she lived. So it wasn't a really bad drive. Ugh, get situated. It wasn't a bad drive. We drove over to Atlanta. We took the kids to Candy Tobia. You probably saw that in the previous vlog. And um, right across the street, well, not across the street, but near um, where Candy Topia was, was the mall, Lenox Mall. And you know, I was like, you know what, let's just go and let's just look around. I did wanna, you know, look, go look at the bags uh, in Fendi uh, and in some of the other stores. And if you remember a couple months ago, I talked about my luxury wish list, these braces, <laughs> but I talked about my luxury wish list. And there was a bag on my wish list, a Fendi bag. It was actually the um, Fendi Sunshine Shopper. I said, you know, I was gonna get it and I went in to the store and with intention, with the intention of looking at it to see if it was really something I wanted, if I really liked it. I love the way it looked uh, in the photos that I had seen. So when I got into the store, it lived up to everything that I, you know, expected everything that I thought. It's a beautiful bag. The leather is beautiful on that bag, but it's um, a top handle. And I thought about if it was going to be practical for me. I don't always like to carry a bag in like on the on my wrist or like in the crook of my arm or something like that. I don't always like that. And here lately, especially during the panorama cross bodies have just been the thing for me or smaller bags have been the thing that I've really, really been gravitating towards. So I decided not to get that bag, but to get one that um, was also one that I was had my eye on for a very, very long time. And seeing it in person just solidified it for me. And let me tell you, the sales associate there was so sweet. She was so nice. Um, I had to stand in line before I could get in. It was late. You know, uh, the mall closes at 7 p.m. Um, and valet shuts down at 6.30. And so I'm standing in line waiting. It was like 6.10. <laughs> so I didn't have a whole lot of time to shop, but she was so sweet. She brought out bags. I told her what I was interested in and she got those for me. And then she actually went in the back and brought out a few limited edition pieces that were um, 
you know, based on what I told her that she felt like I would like, and she was pretty spot on. She brought out pieces that I would indeed like, um, but I I went with the purse that was really, even before the, the Sunshine Shopper, it was my first, uh, it was my first choice. And so let's just do a little unboxing and then we'll talk about the bag. This Fendi brown fabric um, baguette with the Zuka print, it is absolutely iconic. It was first uh, introduced in the uh, late 90s and made very popular on Sex in the City. Um, but I wanted to show you the screen recording because some authenticators, uh, such as the Real Real, will say that a fake bag does has the printed lining. That's not true. This is an authentic bag and it does have the printed lining. So there you have it, guys. I got the iconic Fendi baguette in the brown fabric. And in the words of the incomparable Carrie Bradshaw, darling, this is not a bag, it's a baguette. <laughs> I love this bag. This is a play on one of the more noted or noticeable Fendi styles. It has the iconic um, Zuka print. I'm probably gonna say iconic a thousand times because this bag is truly iconic. It's been around for a very long time. And um, the Fendi Zuka print just takes it to another level. They actually have some baguettes now. They have the Fendi print, the Zuka, but it's like a, in a kind of a slanted or swirly type of design. I don't really like that. It's just, it's not, it looks so busy to me. I, I didn't like that. But anyway, this is the baguette. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't this beautiful? I guess I could take this plastic off. It's some plastic on the, the little buckle here. I'll take it off later. Anyway, what really, really takes this bag to another level is this beautiful shoulder strap or cross body strap. Now it's not super long. And so if I wore it as a cross body, it's gonna hit me like right underneath the my um, breastbone, but that's okay. I actually like it there. I like my purse close to my heart. <laughs> but anyway, I like that. Um, the strap says 
uh, Fendi Roma on it. It's nice, it's sturdy, it's such a sturdy strap, I love that. So when I wanna carry it like uh, over my shoulder or as a crossbody, I can do that. And if I don't want to and I wanna carry it in the crook of my arm, say like this, I can do that. This is a fabric bag. It has one clasp in the front. When you open it up, you can see it's nice. It has nice size. It's much larger than my Gucci um, Dionys Dionysus. I think I'm saying that correctly. I have the mini. My daughter has the small. It, it dwarfs my little mini Dionysus. Hers is much more roomy than mine. But anyway, um, it's much bigger than that, way larger than that YSL little, um, what I call wallet on a chain bag. So this is gonna get a lot of use from me. It's very practical. Again, this is the um, Fendi Baguette in the brown fabric. Inside, you can see that it, take this pull out. You can see that it has um, this logo here. It has a zipper compartment right there. I'm going to get, um, a little Fendi wallet that I can wear because I like my wallets. I like for them to match my bags. So I'm gonna find a wallet that I like. I just didn't have time to really look, but I wanted to get this. The detailing on this bag is beautiful, even on um, the buckles and the hardware. It says Fendi. I don't know if you can see that clearly. I hope that you can. But on each one, it says that I am in love with this bag. I will link this bag now. It was the only one in the store. I got the last one. Uh, I will link um, the bag on the Fendi site and you can see how much it costs. I don't like to talk prices uh, on the channel. But yes, that is my bag. And my sales associate was so, so sweet. Michelle Cloud was so sweet so if you're watching Michelle thank you so much for taking the time to show me all the beautiful bags that you showed me if you um, saw in that clip when I was uh, trying on the the bags the brown bag that I had was the Boston bag I actually like that one too and it was quite a bit cheaper than the uh, baguette but you know I thought about it would I get more wear out of this um, the Boston bag versus the baguette. And you know I'm all about wearing and cost per wear. I wear my, my luxury items, I carry my bags. They do not just sit in my closet. At least that is what I want to happen. I want to carry them. So I made sure that um, it was something that I was gonna use. I went with my first mine, which was this. She showed me, Michelle showed me a lot of different bags, really beautiful bags. She even showed me another baguette. It's a limited edition that is gonna be coming out in a few weeks. They had just gotten it in. She would have had to do an override to even sell me that bag because they are the, uh, the uh, line hadn't even launched yet. It will be launching soon. Um, and the Zuka print had like a threaded um, type of detailing around each F. It was way too busy. It was same bag, but it was just way too busy. And so I, I didn't get that one. I went with my first mine. I love my baguette and I got, I love it, I love it. Now what I do wish I had done was purchase the earrings. They had um, some earrings that I really like. I haven't had my eye on these earrings for a while. They are the mixed metal hoops. Um, one is gold and one is like a kind of a platinum type of, I don't, I, I don't know what the material is, I'll link it here. You know I love a hoop, I say that all the time. I love a hoop, even though I don't have on hoops today, I have on some old uh, earrings that I said, you know, let's just pull out some of these older things that I have, so I have on my crosses. But anyway, I didn't get them, and I wish I had. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, give Michelle a call, because I went online to maybe purchase from Fendi.com, and they didn't have them, they were out of stock. I said, am I gonna do what I let happen with the Louise hoops from Louis Vuitton? I had to wait and wait and wait until I finally was able to get those. So I'm gonna call today and see if I can't get those. And I may even go ahead and order my wallet. But I wanted to share my newest addition to my luxury bag collection. 
Darling, this is not a bag. It is a baguette. <laughs> so I wanted to show you my new baguette. And uh, if you guys would like for me to do uh, a video uh, showcasing all of my luxury bags, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to do that. I don't have a huge collection, but I have a few. And I'll be happy to show you what I have. Um, but that is my bag. Uh, thank you all so much for watching my unboxing. I appreciate you so very much. Before you leave, please hit that like button, thumbs up this video, share this video with your family and friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I'd certainly appreciate it if you did. And don't forget, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. I try to do at least one new video every week. So make sure that you are locked in so that you don't miss any of those. Again, thank you so much guys for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.